Thank you, Mackenzie, for that amazing speech. It's going to be a tough act to follow, but I'll do the best I can. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Matthew Renan. I've been friends with the groom since our freshman year in high school. And I've been bestowed with the honor of being Pat's best man. First of all, I'd like to thank the parents of the bride and groom, Susan and Pat and Brenda, for helping make this special day possible. And I'd also like to thank all of you for coming out and helping celebrate Pat and Jen's love for each other. And first, I'd like to remark on how stunning does Jen look? Okay. Let's just get that one out there right there. Mm -hmm. Locked it down. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know me, I enjoy writing lyrics on the side, and so I decided to write a poem today. If it's overly mushy, I apologize ahead of time. But I understand the speeches are supposed to be short and sweet, so I'll just go ahead and get started. Pat, you are one of my closest friends, and I'm so honored that you picked me to be your best man. For the sake of context, let's go back to high school where our friendship began. <laughs> you were part of the Horde of Plasma kids that came to our high school in our first year. I vividly remember my first impression of you being, that kid's kind of weird. <laughs> in all seriousness, though, we all know how tough it can be to be the new kid. But it wasn't too long before you were included in our clique. Our group of friends have shared so many unique, crazy, and indelible memories, such as riding jet skis or dedicating our summers to making full feature movies. Of course, everything wasn't all sunshine and roses. There are some memories we'd all like to dispose of, such as how scary it was when you ran through that glass and cut your arm. But at least now you can tell people badass stories like you did it in Vietnam. <laughs> While we were friends in high school, it wasn't until college that our bond solidified. It was 2007 and I had a vacancy in my house that needed to be occupied. We lived together for six amazing years and had such a great time that we tolerated living with six different Craigslist roommates, enough to make any sane man lose his mind. I'm sure most of you know that Pat is a beer connoisseur who enjoys a good IPA or stout on draft, or is a carriage driver downtown with a goofy top hat. But he's much more than that. Pat, you're one of the nicest, caring, and most down-to-earth people that I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. Loyal, patient, and very easygoing. Early, earlier this year, you informed me that it was time to move out. And while it made me really sad, deep down I knew it was time to go our separate paths. But enough about our friendship. This special day is about celebrating your love together. So let's go back to September of 2007, when you two start dating each other. Jim, I remember Pat was giddy as a schoolboy when you first started going out. The love bug hit him like a drug, and you were all he could think or talk about. One thing to know about Pat is that he's one of the world's biggest procrastinators. <laughs> True story. But the best decision you've ever made was to get married to this beautiful woman and not wait a second later. Because God knows you wouldn't want her to be the one who got away. And after being around you both for the past six years, I truly believe you two are soulmates. Some of their mutual interests include motorcycles, animals, the outdoors, and beer snobbery. <laughs> Heck, they were even able to convince me, a former swill drinker, to pick up drinking good beer as a hobby. <laughs> Jen, you're a woman who is so intelligent, caring, and resplendent. And Pat, you're truly lucky to have her, so please don't take her for granted. And from the depths of my heart, I love you both so very much. I wish you life together full of health, happiness, and love. Now, I think I've said enough, so would everyone please raise their glass. Yeah. It goes to the bride and groom, Jen and Pat.